Welcome to this video on how to use a formula in Visual Basic. The first thing as usual that I'm going to do is click on New Project and rename the project immediately because renaming is a good idea. Now what we're going to do in this video is calculate the body mass index of someone. So I'm going to call this program, rather unsurprisingly, Body Mass Index. Notice that there are no spaces in the name and that each word starts with a capital letter. Now when I click on OK it takes a moment to create the project but here it is. The first thing I'm going to do is to rename the form. So right click on the form, rename and I'm going to call this FRM and because it's going to be the main form I'm going to call it main and add the dot VB back to make sure it's still a form. When I press enter that's the name of the form. Now I can click on the form and I've got it highlighted. I can change its properties. So it's probably worth now taking a moment to explain the problem. What I'd like is a little program that explains to the user what their body mass index is. For that we need two pieces of information. We need their height and their weight. Now, If you're interested in the formula just go to the Wikipedia and type in body mass index. It'll take you to the page with all the information about it but basically it shows whether you're overweight or not for your height. Now what I'm going to do is to change some of the properties of this form. I've changed its name but I also want to change its start position. I want to make sure that it starts in the center of the screen. So I click on the start position property and then from the drop down list choose center screen. That's now on the center screen. I can also change the form's text at the top. So here I'm going to change the text to body mass index calculator. Uh, not very good spelling of calculator but I'll get there. So we've now got the name of the program across the top. I can now double click on the form to start writing the code. What we want is when this form loads we want the user to be asked for their height, for their weight and for it then to calculate the body mass index and finally to show that body mass index to the user. So I'm going to need three variables. I'm going to need three pieces of information. I'm going to need height and that is going to be a single because we need it to have a decimal point in it. The height is measured in meters not in centimeters. We also need the weight and we're also whoops, should be a capital letter at the front of that as well of course. We're also going to need that as single because you could put in point something of a kilogram if you wanted. And finally we're going to leave space for the BMI itself, the body mass index, and unsurprisingly that's also going to be single. We now have the variables. Notice that each variable is underlined in green. All that means is that we haven't used it yet. A green underline is not a problem. A problem is a red underline. Right, now let's get on. What we need is the user's height in meters. So I'm going to type in height equals and we're going to get the user to type in their height. They have to input something. So we need an input box open bracket and now we're in a position to ask the user to enter their height. So if I open quotation marks and then say please enter your height in meters for example and we'll give them an example to make sure that they know it looks right 1.75 
I'm going to close the quotation marks because that's the end of the text that we want to appear. I'm going to close the bracket so that it knows that we've finished with the input box and then I can press enter. Now I can do exactly the same again for their weight. I can say weight equals input box open brackets open quotes please enter your weight in kilograms for example 100 close the quotation marks close the bracket and away we go the user has now entered both pieces of information that we need we're now in a position to get it to calculate the body mass index so BMI is equal to well I happen to know that the formula for that is weight divided by open brackets height squared I could type in height to the power of 2 and close that or just to make it a little easier to understand times height either of those would work fine so now we've got weight divided by height times height the program has now calculated the body mass index but we need somewhere for that to go and so far we haven't got anywhere so let's go back to the design and add a label so just double click here's my label and the first thing that I'm going to do as always rename first and because it's a label LBL and then I have to decide what it is that this label is going to contain it's going to contain the body mass index so we'll have that as BMI press enter that label is now renamed now I can drag that to sort of where I want it and I'm going to change the font because I want it to be much bigger I'm going to have that as 24 point and we'll have it as bold and because I feel like it we'll change the foreground color to coral that looks okay now I can get rid of the text in there because we don't want the user to see label one we want them to have a completely blank format first and now I can go back to my code and say LBL BMI dot text in other words the text property of the BMI label is going to be BMI but text is text and BMI is a number what we have to do is to convert that number to text so BMI dot and then to string comes up highlighted if I double click on that what we have done here is asked it to take the value of BMI and convert that to a string to text it can then put that text in the text property of the BMI label we now have what ought to be a fully working program just before I hit run though notice that the green underlines have gone so now let's run that the form first asks me for my height in meters so let's put in 1.75 it now asks me for my weight in kilograms I'm going to put in a hundred press OK and it comes up and says my body mass index is 32.65306 we have a working program 